Recording again. Uh, we're getting used to the camera, getting used to how this uh, setup actually works. Uh, it's a little tilted there. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can fix you up here a bit more. Get you a uh, better setup. Uh, it's all right. I think it's all right. Uh, it's pretty good. We'll see how it comes out uh, uh, on the video on the, the final edit. So let's see, it's uh, five hours and 38 minutes into the day of Wednesday, September 17th, 2014. I said before, I didn't think I was sleeping through the night. I got up around three o'clock, uh, I was feeling a little hungry, got myself something to eat, started watching some vlogs, and as I was going through some of the stuff I had on my desk here, my research desk, uh, I started doing some of the work on the systems again, so I'm doing the config work. I'm doing more config work because I've got a test bench set up now, and I'll show you the test bench tomorrow. Uh, where I'm regularly configuring uh, Linux systems. And the goal is to eventually uh, set up in such a way that I can start giving back to the Linux community by making sure that when development occurs, that uh, bug bugs are properly dealt with. And that simply means going in configuring systems again, again, looking for problems, looking for issues, and trying to push your knowledge of Linux further and further. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And uh, as, part of, as part of the stuff I'm gonna be, I'll am be talking about uh, when Ubuntu BSD Unix Intel comes back, and I'll actually be doing the Ubuntu BSD Unix Intel here at the research desk, because uh, now we can with a new camera. Uh, I'm not restricted with for time and how I do things. And, that gives me a, a lot more flexibility in terms of how I film. So, I will be here at the research desk to do Ubuntu BSD Unix Hotel. That's where it's going to be filmed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll be doing music studio. The music studio is going to be done here. The animation studio is going to be done here as well. But so far, that's been put off because uh, uh, I haven't had the uh, time. And I've also been, uh, with the, uh, the lack of sleep, I've been rather fatigued, so... Uh, <laughs> I guess that goes without saying. I've got a few more things to get done. And, and then I'll be going back to get bed. I'll probably, I'll probably get back to bed around 6 o'clock in the morning, so... <laughs> uh, I plan to take tomorrow off. I don't plan to start any earlier than, uh, I think, 6 o'clock in the evening, so... We'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, I'll see you then. <laughs> If I get up before then, then I'll uh, I'll certainly say hello and uh, uh, we'll have a bit of a chat. just the way we do now, did now. All right, let's see if I can keep vlogging like this. Take it easy. Well, vlogging's definitely getting easier <laughs> uh, on this camera, anyways. Uh, there is a little bit of a trick to it. Uh, I think things are working all right. I'm gonna see how these uh, vlogs come out, but uh, that's gonna take a while because we're still backlogged with the previous vlogs. But the network is being the network is being realigned, and with that, as the network is realigned, the editing bay is being realigned, and things are starting to come along. We just did the remixes. Actually, I got I got four vlogs up in the last weeks or week or so, and so things came out all right. Now we're trying something a little bit new. There's a slight upgrade to this, uh, so uh, <laughs> we'll see how things work out. Um, I added a faster editing bay and back, so now I have two network bays back again. One of the the the, the computer that I'm using, going to be using for uh, 
Cyborg Alpha TV Live was one of the editing bays before. So I had two editing bays before I left uh, for uh, uh, Cyborg Alpha, for Mars Alpha. Uh, that's the uh, research expedition. And now I have two editing bays back again. Uh, a faster one and a slower one. The slower one is back behind me, and the faster one is in the back room now. So I'm going to try to get that working. All the files have been transferred over there. So there's a carbon copy of everything that is on that editing bay. There is uh, a carbon copy on the editing bay in back. And I will show you back there. I will uh, eventually take you back there to uh, show you around because I'm fixing things up and cleaning things up. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting my, 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 my place cleaned. I'm getting to there. I have that same problem that Cassandra at Nerdzarella has. Uh, I'm getting my place cleaned. Uh, I'm doing the cleaning, not someone else is coming in, but I'm getting it to the point where it's clean enough to use and work with. And, uh, you know, that's pretty good for me. I, I, I think that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, can I say, what can I say about it? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going out uh, to dinner. And uh, I might be filming a little bit on Saturday as we go to a new Serbian church that's coming into the uh, Synod, uh, the DOC Colonicus group. Uh, and we'll see how that ends up working out. So we'll be there Saturday night uh, for service and, uh, for Vespers. Uh, what else is there? Not much other than getting the IPTV, IPTV uh, more in order. Uh, I did Today I did a, a, a fair bit of sleeping. But uh, that's simply to catch up on what I was behind on. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Basically, I ended up going to bed yesterday around 6 o'clock in the morning. I ended up getting up completely around 4.35. Went out to church tonight for Vesper, for uh, called Paraclesis. And then after church came back, had something to eat, and uh, watch some of my watch my uh, IPTV, and particularly those are the vlogs that are on there. And that was about it. That's, that, that sort of took me till about just about now. About, uh, oh, yeah, it's about one o'clock. Oh, it's about two o'clock. I'm like one thirty. A little past one thirty. So let me give you the time and date stamp because that's ne that's a necessity. See, it is one hour and 41 minutes into the day of Thursday, September 18th, 2014. So, we'll see what we can get done tomorrow. We'll see how much further along the network and the place can come if I get, in terms of my cleaning. If I can get enough of the cleaning done, maybe this weekend we can start doing some room tours and, you know, I'll give you a, a sort of a, a, a tour around the place. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see how things go from there. I do have things set up to go work on the music studio, so the music studio should be starting anytime soon. Uh, probably within a day or so, it should be starting, uh, and then uh, we'll sort of go from there. Anyway, so that's about it for now. <laughs> that's, all gonna, that's all I have to say. I will definitely see you later. We'll see. I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. And we'll see what happens. If I can sleep, I'll sleep. If not, maybe I'll get up and watch some TV or something like that. I'm going to say IPTV. Anyways, see you later. Have fun. And see you when I see you. Mistakes, 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 and mistakes. <laughs> uh, I'm still kind of clumsy with the camera here. I'm still learning to, uh, how to uh, use it better. Oh, so what's going on today? Let me just adjust this here and make sure it's got a better view. There we go. That's much better. See, now I can uh, work on my computer and talk to you guys at the same time. And we still got a good back view. Uh, <laughs> I've had a bit of a rough weekend. Uh, I think the last time I vlogged was uh, I think Thursday or Friday. 
Anyways, what ended up happening, let me just get something from back here. Back to the, uh, uh, we're back at the, uh, we're back at the uh, electronics bench here. So I've got to get this. This is what I have to get. Uh, wheel myself over. Uh, the trials and tribulations of sitting in a, high, a nice executive chair. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what ended up happening is over the weekend is that my IPTV, the new one I bought, this one here just crashed. This is the thing. Uh, when I got it, I was a little leery. It's so small. It's got the it's got HDMI out, uh, and everything's you know there's no standard ports on here really. Everything is kind of has to be connected through hubs, and that can get kind of cumbersome, particularly if these things are not that stable. So, but apparently this one has. Uh, had uh, uh, Google TV on it and uh, as a result being Google TV and Google TV being con discontinued in favor of Chromecast now you know uh, Google's trying to do the new thing called Chromecast uh, the uh, end result is that uh, this guy device kept crashing as they move further and further away from Google TV this t device which is Google TV even though it's Android on it uh, kept crashing and, and basically over the weekend it wouldn't boot anymore so that was it. It went into an infinite loop where it crashed, shut down, crash, shut down, shut, crash, shut down, crash, shut down. Uh, so back to my old device, I ordered a new one and I realized that uh, uh, I can't, if you're going to IPTV, particularly if you want, want to get off of the standard cable package, that you can't get uh, the Google TV package or like a Sony player or something like that. What you need is something, a device with Android on it completely. And the reason being is that even all the other, other uh, except the only pa the only platform that is actually working now is, is Android. And the reason why Android is working, it allows you to go wherever Android goes in terms of the number of apps, who's producing it. And you don't want to be stuck geographically to to the things you want to do, so Android is the way to go. Uh, otherwise, Apple, you're stuck with the Apple Store, uh, and anything else like Sony or anything like that, all these other major brands, you're stuck within these particular stores. You can't go outside to someplace else and get something different. So, if you get a Sony player, you are stuck with Sony. If you get uh, an Apple TV player, you know, this IPTV for Apple TV, you're stuck with Apple. Uh, same thing if you go with a major cable company for IPTV, which is where everything is going now. Uh, most TV uh, boxes now are IPTV boxes. You're locked to whatever cable company or whatever phone company uh, uh, you're with, and they only give you X amount of content. If you're happy with that content, great. If you want to go else, ever, if you want to go outside that content uh, and, and not necessarily pay for it as much, you know, you know, you don't want to be like I didn't want to be spending three hundred dollars a month. Uh, for all these different packages. So, uh, right now I'm paying about uh, uh, $110 a month for high speed internet uh, that I've got a network attached to and beautiful. Uh, and that includes my IPTV. So, uh, instead of paying for cable TV, I put most of my stuff onto the in into a good high speed internet. So, you know, the thing is you can for uh, a relatively uh, inex in inexpensive amount of money, for a relatively cheap amount of money, uh, rather than paying for a cable package, uh, you can get a good internet package and uh, really run some, some cool stuff off of it. But um, then you're kind of stuck for, for IP, you're kind of stuck for TV. But I found everything I needed to do on Android, and I think it's, Android seems to be the best package. A lot of people talk about X, uh, X, uh, XBMC, that's the Xbox Media Center that's on Linux. A lot of people are talking about that. The problem is you need app developers. And because most of the app developers now are on Android and they're leaving these other platforms, uh, you're kind of stuck. I mean, I know that Samsung, no one's developing for Samsung. So you go, you get a Samsung Smart TV, there's no apps there for it. There's no one's developing for it. So, <laughs> um, because my parents got a Samsung TV and they got the Samsung Smart Center with it. And there's no apps. 
And that's because nobody's developing for it. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's about it for now. I'm going to try to start vlogging again uh, this week. We're trying to get stuff or stuff caught up, but uh, that's not necessarily the case. We, we're, there's still a backlog of stuff, but things are moving forward, but the backlog still exists. So uh, I'm going to try to relieve that. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. That's it for today. And I will uh, talk to you guys ooh, uh, sometime later, later today. Anyways, see you. Yeah. Give me time and date stamp, right? Because I'm talking about later today. It is uh, 5 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Monday, September 22nd, 2014. Alright, so see you later on today. It's time to vlog. It's Friday, uh, September 26th, 2014. It's just about uh, 7 o'clock, so it's 19 hours and 0 minutes into well, it's about 19 hours into the day of uh, Friday, uh, September 26th, 2014. I haven't done this in a while in terms of taking you who's shopping with me so there has to be <laughs> once again when you thought something for a while and you restarted again there uh, there is a new adjustment period again you can see this with any of the vloggers once they stop vlogging and it's a long enough period before they come back uh, in many ways they have to kind of start all over again they have to get the feel for vlogging again and this is true here. Uh, there is sort of going to be an adjustment period uh, as I start vlogging again like this, uh, particularly as we walk. But it shouldn't be too bad. It's, you know, I think I'm doing better now <laughs> than I did before. You know, I think uh, uh, the adjustment period is going to be shorter. I mean. It's not that it's going to be shorter because there is no adjustment period, but rather um, things seem to be clear coming to my mind. There's the jet. <laughs> I think there's a truck coming up. Um, things seem to be clear in my mind. I have better coherence in terms of putting my thoughts together when I'm vlogging now. And, and my, my, I'm not as out of breath as I was <laughs> before. I mean, before I think uh, a large chunk of the uh, being out of breath was uh, well, not timing my my uh, talking properly with my breathing as I'm walking, and then two, my body was uh, physically exhausted. So uh, a large chunk of the time I spent at Marzelf on the research expedition. I spent a large chunk of that time uh, sleeping and recovering from uh, the uh, physical fatigue of the year. But now we're back at it again and we're doing things all over again. There's another episode going up now as we speak. Uh, the editing and uploading is getting better. More options and we can get more done now. So. The goal will be to try to increase the uh, amount of work we get done and hopefully we can clear up the backlog by the time October comes around. That's a couple of days. Well, let's say mid-October. This give me a realistic, uh, a realistic target. So, anyways, we're coming to the end of the street. That means I have to cross and I can't have you on because it's dangerous. <laughs> Crossing the street, you have to pay attention, even when you're walking. This little bug around me. Anyways, I'll see you later. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Restricting myself to a six minute segment and shorter, although the camera does more, makes good vlogging sense because sometimes longer vlogging segments do not necessarily make a good vlog. 
So, um, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 19 hours and 27 minutes into the day of Thursday, September 25th, 2014. And if you're paying attention to vlogging days, there's been a, another lag in our vlogging days. Uh, where and that, What happens is when the projects pi start piling up, and these are problems within the projects, and you have to move into debug mode where you're trying to figure out what's the problem and move things along. And this happens, you know, every time you upgrade, there's always debug work to do. Upgrades never go smoothly. It's, it's like it, it, it upgrades, for those of you who are in the gaming community, uh, if you're a gamer, upgrades is the same thing as leveling up. Leveling up, you did great because you leveled up. You're on the new level. But because you're on a new level, you're at the back at the beginning of the new level. There's a lot of learning to do. There's a heavy, le a heavy learning curve at the beginning, and you have to play again. And you know, there's a lot you, you don't do. You don't do as well on the first part of the new level as you did on the last part of the last level. In other words, at the end of the near the end of the level, you're doing great because you know you've had enough time with it. You've got experience with it, and you've worked out all the problems. All your mistakes are starting to get, you know, be, be, be dealt with, and you're starting to move along. And that's how you end up getting up to the next level. And at the beginning of the next level, at the beginning of, the, of a new level, you don't know where things are. There's a lot of, of unknowns because it's a brand new level. It's like starting all over again in some cases. You have the experience from the previous levels, but you know there's going to be issues. You, what happens is, and I think here's where it is. It's not that the issues that pop up don't make you feel different. You still feel the same way you did when you first experienced them. It's just that you now, you've had the experience of dealing with these issues, so now you can deal with the issues better. And that's the same thing with upgrade. Upgrading and leveling up are basically the same thing. Uh, if you're playing uh, uh, gaming, gaming RL, gaming real life, you know, in other words, turning your life into a real game, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are, like myself, who are technic uh, uh, technical geeks or uh, gaming geeks or whatever. If you spend your life t lifetime gaming, if you, and particularly if you're going into uh, the what we call uh, the uh, nerd type gaming. And nerd type gaming is uh, a little different than uh, standard gameplay, and in that the games that you play are significantly significantly harder. They're more complex. Uh, they require a greater de uh, a great attention to detail. These are geek games, and if you're going to spend your time going through manuals to learn a particular game. Right? and make fake money, and make yourself a fake wizard, and make yourself a fake kingdom. My view is, why not take that same gaming mentality with the internet and your whatever computer setup you have, and turn real life into a game. Instead of uh, fake playing, uh, uh, let's say, a music game like uh, Guitar uh, Guitar Lords or, or uh, Rock God or whatever, whatever the, the gaming, whatever the music game is where you you follow along with the chords and try to, you know, use your controller to be the best musician. You know, and you have competitions like this. Well, instead of doing that in part of, you know, part of a gaming community in terms of uh, just playing as a simple game, well, with YouTube, why not try to make yourself a musician? Try to create your own um, music studio. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm making make my own music studio and put as the put the same effort into your music studio. That you create on your on your uh, desktop and wherever your research desk is, uh, that you would into the game if you were playing that game, and that's sort of how I'm approaching this. This is sort of like a game for me, if you will, where I'm trying to see how far I can go, what type of things I can see, uh, and it's, it, it, it fits in very well with the whole uh, exploration of the universe thing because it turns my entire world into sort of uh, an exploration, if you will. And that's kind of where I'm coming from things. And, and, and sometimes when you, when, you, when you, every time you upgrade, so there are going to be issues, there are going to be problems. And upgrading itself does not go smoothly. There are a lot, a lot of debugging to do. And that's what sort of stops us, stop, well, stops me particularly, 
in that when you have a new setup, and like I'm, I'm redoing the uh, network, been redoing the uh, network editing bay to bring out the live channel. Well, that was an enormous amount of work, and it, it it took a lot of time. And that's where you get these breaks. You get these breaks in vlogging because of that. Anyways, I'm trying a new camera setup, and hopefully this works. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Maybe I'll do some more vlog. Maybe I'll do some vlogging in the kitchen diner. Something in maybe in the uh, uh, on the music studio. We'll see. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you later. Well, back again for another uh, segment of the BTS vlog. And the thing is, is that things are working out very well. Uh, <laughs> and I say this with an asterisk. And an asterisk means there is a condition to mean very well. Considering how things typically go, where there's a lot of debug work to do, and things often pop up, when you get to a point where things start working out, that's very well. I just did a, uh, uh, as I said before, I got a new camera, and I did a first test shot, the test shot came out right, I transcribed it on uh, uh, just a small clip on Handbrake uh, using that uh, one of these uh, programs on, on Linux to do this, to, to convert it to a format that you could uh, then render with. Uh, but I realized the length of time, if I were doing a, 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 like a, filming the vlogs here, that it would take too long to do that. And that I needed a faster way to do this. In other words, I needed a sort of way, find a way to make my time more efficient, do a more efficient uh, 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 filming than editing. But that was difficult because from what I've read, I was reading online, the MTS format, the uh, this high def fo format that, that Sony uses and also Canon uses as well, is a very complex format to work with. It doesn't turn out that well on... Uh, on Linux, well, in many cases, on any on any system, I mean, lo, 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 the recommendations for Windows or even a Mac is uh, they want you to have a seven core, uh, you know, the the i the i seven core, the uh, the seven core uh, uh, Pentium uh, as an Intel chip, the seven core uh, Pentium chip. They want you to have, I think, something like uh, a minimum of sixteen gigabytes of RAM in order to start working with these with these files. So I thought that, you know, when I first did my first, I did say, I said, okay, this isn't going to go too well. Let me see what I can do in terms of rendering. So I went into Caden Live, did my first thing of Caden Live, and that was the, uh, the, the the Vespers that I had gone to. I had gone to a Vespers at, uh, uh, there's a Serbian church called St. Uh, I think it's St. Uh, Archangel Michael. And I think you don't really need Saint in front of the Archangel Michael, but they have it there anyways. And I, uh, filmed the Vespers, rendered it out on uh, Caden Live, it came out alright, but the, the, the video wasn't smooth. There were cuts, there were jumps, there were freezes. Uh, in other words, there were, uh, were issues uh, with the video uh, that made me worry about what would happen if I tried to edit the uh, BTS vlog. So I just sat down uh, last over the weekend, and not really sat down because I was doing a lot of debug work anyways. And when I do a lot of debug work, I don't sleep. So in the middle of the night, I, well, and this is where it was, I said, give you a time and date stamp to give you an idea of where we are, because uh, I do forget to give you the time and date stamp. It is three hours and 18 minutes into the day of Monday, September 29th. And yeah, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. My time schedule is completely thrown off. And this is what happens when I'm doing debug. When I do debug, and this is what happened over the weekend, that's why I didn't even do any, any vlogging over the weekend. When I'm in the debug mode, and I'm trying to resolve a problem, I'm so focused on the problem that I even forget to eat. And that's what happened yesterday, but I did treasure my way through it, and at the end of the day yesterday, I had a solution to editing uh, the MTS files, that's these uh, these new high def files, 
that are from Sony. I found a way of doing it in uh, Caden Live, but I wasn't able to test it out last night. I was able to get some of the resolutions in terms of reconfiguring the system. Uh, I tested it out today. I did a test uh, uh, rendering of uh, a sample edit of, uh, of uh, the BTS log. It rendered in, in a very good amount of time. It rendered in four hours, which is comparable to uh, the 720p videos. The old uh, AVI videos rendered in, in just about the same amount of time. So there wasn't any extra time in this. So in other words, uh, the rendering that came out today, and I watched the video, was a very good job. It did a very, very good job. And I was very happy with that. That means we can now move forward and start producing more videos because now you know we've, we, we, we've got a camera and format to work with in the back room I'm gonna wait a little bit to do the insta vlogs why because yeah we're upgrading and so I went and said okay let's not do a 720p upgraded to 1080p right let's not do that let's do a see if I can find a good cheap uh, camera uh, on uh, on the internet so I went out looked at the internet did a little bit of a search and I found that there was a Nikon and there goes the bell again there was a Nikon on sale within my budget limit and this is going to blow my budget until basically February but every time between between now between now and the end of October this is my upgrade period this is when I spend money on equipment so uh, I looked at what I had looked at my budget and that I could do with with a camera. So this, I'm going to have as of Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to have my first DSLR, my first major camera. This is going to be a second major camera. This is a good camera here. Don't forget, this is a good camera. But my major camera is going to be the DSLR that's coming on Wednesday. That's where I'm going to be shooting uh, most of the uh, Insta vlogs. Insta vlogs are going to be the longer uh, research programs. Uh, they're going to be like essays, and they're going to be a lot more in depth. This is behind the scenes. This is sort of a vlogging type of thing. Good for this is a great for vlogging, and that's how this is going to work out. So far, I think uh, from what I've done on my test shots, uh, and this is but basically about a week worth of test shots, uh, we're doing all right. With this, very well it means I think that by the end of the week, some of these videos can start going up. That's the goal. End of the week, get this uh, this Friday, uh, that the videos can start going up. The uh, the new uh, 1080p full 1080p uh, videos. Anyways, uh, I think that's about it for now. Uh, I'm gonna finish watching my IPTV, and then maybe see if I can uh, get some rest. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I go to bed, I'm watching some vloggers talking about how they when they go to bed that their mind doesn't turn off and they start thinking about it and they can't sleep. Uh, I'm in that same mode, I'm in that same boat, I should say. I'm in that same boat where uh, I go to bed, I'm, my body is tired and as soon as I lie down my mind starts thinking of things and I can't turn my mind off. And well, that, and then there it goes to the night. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Uh, let's see if we can turn you off successfully without knocking everything over. So, anyways. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.